Hi folks, in this video you will learn how to control two DC gear motors using a node MCU, a motor driver shield, two DC gear motors, and a 6 volt battery pack. I'll guide you through the wiring, programming, and testing steps to get your motors running smoothly. This setup is perfect for projects like robotics and DIY projects, providing precise motor control for your innovative creations. Let's dive in. Connect the node MCU to our motor driver shield. Now, let's take a closer look at the connectors on the motor driver shield and understand the six connectors on the motor driver shield and how they play a crucial role in our setup. Connector A is the negative side and A plus is the positive side for motor A. Similarly, connectors B for the motor B. VM, this is where we connect power to the motors. It supplies the necessary power to make our motor spin. GND is a ground, which is a common reference point for electrical circuits. VIN, this connector is significant because it provides power to the node MCU, allowing it to function. So, to recap, VIN powers your node MCU, and VM is where you supply power to the motors. Understanding the purpose of each connector is essential for proper operation. Now let's move forward with our setup. Let's connect the motors to the A and B connectors. For our power source, we're using a 6 volt battery pack to provide power. Now connect the power supply, connect the negative wire to the ground, and the positive wire to the VIN connector. To make it simpler, we want both the node MCU and the motors to draw power from the same source. Here's how. Notice the VIN and VM pins on your shield. VIN provides power to the node MCU, and VM supplies power to the motors. To connect them to the same power source, we use jumper pins. Shorting these pins with a jumper connects them together, which means the power coming into VIN will also be supplied to VM. This step is crucial for your motors to have the energy they need. So remember to short VIN and VM with a jumper to ensure that both your node MCU and motors run on power from the same 6-volt battery pack. Let's connect the node MCU to your computer so we can upload the program using the Arduino IDE. In this code, we define pins for motor control like PWMA and PWMB for speed control and DA and DB for motor direction. Next, we initialize these pins as output and set them to low to stop the motors. Now, the loop function begins. It triggers forward, stop motors, backward, stop motors, slow forward, stop motors, and round functions with delays. Each forward or backward function sets the motor direction and controls speed with analog write. The stop motors function stops both motors by setting direction and speed pins too low. Lastly, the round function demonstrates a turn by moving one motor forward and the other backward. This code showcases basic motor control for various movements using a node MCU. It's time to select your port and board in the Arduino IDE and upload the program to your node MCU. If you're unsure about this process, don't worry. You can find a detailed step-by-step -step guide on the project page. Just check the link in the video description below. It'll walk you through the process. Let's get that program uploaded. As you can see, our motor control setup is working like a charm. It's a fantastic addition to your robotic projects. In my next video, I'll be building a complete robot car with additional sensors. Stay tuned. If you found this tutorial helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel for more exciting tech tutorials. Don't forget to comment with your thoughts and questions. You can also find a link to the project page in the video description below for more details. Thanks for watching and happy tinkering.